Hey guys, it's Ariva and I'm back with another tutorial. So today I'm going to show you guys how I do a blow dry set in my hair. The reason I do a blow dry set is because your hair basically sets when it heats and cools in the same exact position. I've kind of been styling it this way to create um, a lot of movement and volume that I wouldn't get otherwise and it's really really easy to do so we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it I'm gonna be going in with my new Dyson supersonic because I got it in the hot pink and I just really want to use it because it's beautiful so I used a really dense moisturizing uh, leave-in conditioner in my hair to take all of the tangles out so that's gonna provide my hair with the moisture that I need so that my hair doesn't get frizzy when I'm styling it so you can go in with any mousse you want I'm using full frame from Redken because I when I was hairdressing I worked with Redken for um, a decade and I just really like their products so it's just something that I'm used to and my hair responds well to it so as you can see I'm gonna be super generous with my mousse and I'm gonna take a solid chunk and we're just gonna just kind of apply it into our hair and of course it's like all over my new dress no okay and when you're using mousse don't rub it into your hand and turn it into like a cream or a liquid you want to utilize it in in its foamy state and then kind of whatever's left over in my hands I'm just gonna put it towards the roots you don't want to get this on your scalp so once our product is in our hair, now we're gonna go ahead and start rough drying our hair. If you have um, a Dyson Supersonic like I do or um, a blow dryer at home that has um, several options for nozzles, you're gonna want to go with your uh, wider nozzle. So you guys can see the difference in these nozzles right now. This one's a little bit narrower and this one's a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna utilize the thicker one for the uh, rough drying and blow drying process. So I'm gonna grab a large paddle brush and we're gonna focus on drying our roots. And we're gonna do this by directing the heat upwards. This is gonna make sure that our roots dry standing up and that's gonna give us the most amount of volume. And you wanna do this all the way around your hairline and pretty much all around your scalp. So you wanna make sure that your roots are 100% dry and right now my mids are probably 50% dry just from the residual heat. Um, and then my ends are pretty much soaking wet. So that is the state that you wanna keep this at before you start your blow dry. So now we're gonna start with our sections and honestly, I feel like sectioning your hair makes your blow dry so much easier and it only takes a couple of seconds. So you're basically gonna go to your recession. So your recession is where your like hairline goes back on your forehead. Um, if you don't have a very like prominent recession on your forehead, you can just follow the arch of your eyebrows. And you're gonna create a halo on the top of your head. So this section is basically like the money shot section. And the section does not need to be perfect. We're just gonna kind of roll it away and you guys can see it's basically just a rough halo, nothing perfect. So that is our first section. Right behind your ear, like so, okay? And this is gonna be one section. And you wanna just very quickly roll this section and clip it away nice and clean. And same thing on the other side. You wanna create the section right behind your ear and you wanna roll this side up as well and clip that away. And we're gonna create this as one section. And now I'm just gonna section away that remaining hair. Okay, so now we have all of our sections. So I'll show you guys. It took me literally just a couple of minutes to do it and it's worth the effort and you'll kind of understand why as I'm moving through this blow dry. So we have one section here, two, three, and then we have four and five sections here. So they're nice and clean, nice and put away. So each section has to be basically treated um, like its own head of hair and it's all gonna be directed in a particular way to kind of get the maximum amount of volume and movement in that particular section on our head. So we're gonna be starting from the bottom and working our way up and as we get to the top and around my face, we're gonna be setting our sections and I'll show you guys how to do that. Uh, but for basically the ones back in the back here, we're not, we're not gonna bother setting those. Um, so I'll show you very quickly how I style those sections. And we're gonna go in with our more narrow barrel at this point because this one directs the heat a little bit more concentrated. Um, so it'll help us style our sections a little bit um, more precisely. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of put the round brush in 
and we're gonna give it a half twist just so we can make sure we have a solid bit of tension on there. And we're gonna start uh, blow drying on low air and high heat. With each section, you wanna make sure you have a solid bit of tension and you're stretching that piece and you're directing the hair downwards. And once that section is nice and smooth, you wanna start rolling the round brush towards the ends and rolling the brush up as you apply heat. And then you're gonna give it a quick cool shot for 10 seconds. And when the section has cooled down, you're gonna very gently twist and unravel and that's it. And now we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. You basically want to move the nozzle of your blow dryer and your round brush parallel to each other. You always want to direct the heat down towards the ends, not against the grain or towards your scalp. So you can see I'm adjusting my arms to make sure the heat is always going towards the ends. Okay, so this section is completely done. So you guys can see we have a little bit of movement happening. We have the waves and a little bit of like a flip on the end. And if I were to go in with a larger brush, it wouldn't be as defined as this. It would be a little bit straighter and smoother. Um, so that's kind of the reason I'm going in with the smaller brown brush. So I'm gonna take down um, this section and you don't wanna take it down completely. So just quickly take a section so now kind of moving forward, we're gonna have our styled hair um, in the back so that we can focus on our wet hair in the front so we can see it as we're styling it. Once you have your section nice and smooth, when you get towards the ends, you really wanna take a few seconds to really focus on rotating the brush on the ends as you apply heat. This is gonna make sure that when you unravel your brush, your ends come out nice and smooth and sleek and nice and bouncy every time. Okay, so we're basically done our entire uh, back sections now, nice and quick. And you can see that the texture is starting to show. There's lots of volume, there's lots of movement. Now we're gonna start um, on the sections that we're actually gonna be setting. Um, so these are the areas that are gonna be basically our focal points in this style. And we're just gonna go ahead and take this entire side section and we're gonna blow dry up and forward. You always wanna blow dry your hair in the opposite direction that you want it to fall. So since I want this to kind of swoosh backwards, we're gonna rotate the round brush and direct the hair forward. So remember to keep your tension nice and tight when you're stretching the section and nice and loose when you're rotating the round brush back so that when you unravel this piece, you won't be stuck with a million tangles. And we're not gonna be using the cool shots for these section because we actually wanna utilize all of the heat um, that's in the hair strands right now and you're just gonna very quickly um, grab this section that you round brushed and you're gonna take two fingers and you're just gonna wrap it around um, like so and you're just gonna roll it and we're gonna pin it so that it sets we're just gonna clip it into place like so, and we're gonna actually let that uh, kind of cool in that position, and we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. And I cross my hands over when I get to the opposite side because I wanna make sure that I'm constantly directing the air and the heat downwards towards the ends so that my hair is nice and shiny and nice and smooth, and I really get that cuticle closed. And instead of a cool shot, I'm gonna be blasting a little bit more extra heat on these sections so that I know it's nice and hot when I go to wrap it. And now it'll cool on its own as it sets. Okay, so we have our two sections here, and now we're ready to start um, on the top, and all of these sections are gonna be set as well. So we're gonna start at the back of our halo section. And um, again, this part, can get a little tricky if you feel overwhelmed, just use a smaller section. So we're just gonna start right here. And then you wanna wrap this up and section this away because you don't want all this wet hair um, setting, sitting on top of all of your styled hair. And honestly, my section is huge. And, and that's only because I'm so used to blow drying my hair. Um, but most of you at home are gonna probably wanna go smaller with your sections. So you're gonna take the section kind of completely forward like so. You're gonna take your round brush and you're gonna lock it in like so. And you're gonna move up and forward. 
And again, I'm blow drying my roots and my section in the opposite direction that I want it to fall. So because this is gonna be going back, I'm blow drying this forward so I get that nice little bump on the roots. And same thing, we're just gonna wrap it and roll it and clip it onto the base. Once that's nice and secure on the base, we're gonna go ahead and start with the next section. And I'll show you guys a little close up of how I wrap this. It's actually quite easy. You take your two fingers and you wrap the strand all the way around and then just kind of rotate it up and clip it into the base. And because I'm doing this section by section, you can see that it's staying nice and clean and organized. So just keep the pattern going and rotate each section back and clip it into place nice and secure. So for this last section in here, this all depends on how you part your hair. So I like to blow dry this back because I'm a hair flipper and I like to kind of flip it this way, this way sometimes it falls in the center. Uh, but if you have a certain part that you wanna create in your hair, um, that's where you would specifically part your hair here. So you would just um, create your parting and style uh, one section one way and the other section the other way. Um, but I'm gonna be blow drying everything back. And now finally, I'm going to unravel the last piece and wrap it back nice and secure onto the base. Now I'm just gonna give it a quick spray of hairspray. Okay, so I let it cool off for a few minutes. Um, you can let it cool off honestly, 5, 10, 15, 20, however long you want. Uh, but honestly, five minutes is usually enough to kind of cool the section down. So we're gonna take down our sides. And you'll see our sides have a lot more definition and movement happening and that was pretty much our goal. Yes. Look how pretty that is. Look at that movement, look at that volume. So at this point, we can pretty much add our finishing touches. So I'm using L'Oreal Dream Lace, and honestly, this stuff is so concentrated in my thick hair, like that's all I need, one tiny, tiny pump. And I'm just gonna rub it together, and you wanna make sure you rub it together completely away in your hand so that it's dispersed evenly. And I'm just kind of applying it on the mids and ends, and it gives it that kind of extra bit of shine and it smells really good and it just gives it that like nice kind of finishing touch so this is going to last me pretty much all week um, a few tricks that i do is i sleep on a silk or a satin pillowcase and i make sure i tie my hair up on the top of my head uh, when i sleep and those kind of tips and tricks kind of help my style last all week. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any questions about today's look, you can feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I will get back to you. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.